We're at the 2022 VEXU Robotics Competition, which is the biggest robotics competition in the world. It's intimidating, but it's so thrilling at the same time. It's nice to interact with other college teams. It's nice to be in a place where there's so many nerds, <laughs> you know? Last year, we made it to the quarterfinals at Worlds. I was a coach for the team. I won win the whole championship. Uh, I'm pretty confident that we can do it. We just gotta believe in ourselves and you know, do what we've been doing all season. In between every match, we have to change the batteries, make sure all the robots are filled up with air. Pit management is having all the tools ready at hand. It's really important to bring our team to as many matches as we can and get ourselves to that final position. I've been to other competitions, but nothing like this. My role here is being a scout. Without a scout, you're kind of going in blind. It'll give you the best strategy to kind of take out the team or like counteract their strategies. Could be the difference between winning a match and losing a match. My freshman year, I wasn't part of the competition team. So it's a really big jump for me. Um, but I'm sort of just letting, letting it happen the way it needs to happen. VCAT definitely has a, an expectation of bringing the trophies home. Spent so many nights staying up to like one in the morning all together as a team, trying to strategize, figure out, troubleshooting. It'd be really a great experience for the whole team to be able to bring that back home. VCAT Robotics is a high-level XU competitive robotics team. We're 2016 world champs, and we've been scoring high since, and we strive to remain at that high level. Something that we think is really special about VCAT Robotics is our community outreach. We try to collaborate with as many high school and middle school teams as possible. We go to high schools where there is no VEX Robotics at all and introduce you know, robotics to them, talk about it a little bit, let, you know, give them the opportunity of driving our robots, and you know, stuff like that. Basically, introduce robotics to the community. I am a senior, the only senior, and I have to teach everyone else what I know. Uh, so when I graduate, the team can proceed on to do greater things. I'm very excited for next year. I'll probably be running for vice president. I do plan on trying to lead the programming and bring everyone together. We've come so far as a team from just the beginning of the year to now. We've definitely grown as people. If we were to win, that would just be incredible. And I know Vaughn would be very proud of us. I'd be incredibly proud of the team. This type of engagement, get them a job in industry, provide them innovative mind, and they become the future innovators. We came with 15 students, which is a big deal. We have scouts, we have drive team, we have mentors. Without Vaughn's support, we wouldn't have been able to make it to the World Championship. Vaughn's contribution to VCAT Robotics has been monumental. They paid for our flights, they paid for our hotels, they paid for the robots. They did so much and like they, they're always very supportive. They're always trying to figure out what can we do for the team. We have the tools we need, we have the materials we need. They're very good about letting us run scrimmages and events so we can get more experience. And we wouldn't be able to do that without Vaughn's generosity. I'm very grateful for Vaughn. There's a lot of outreach to get us involved in these clubs. I don't think at another school I would have had this opportunity without having to put so much money into it. Vaughn College, it's a really amazing place to kind of find your passion. Being part of a team actually helped me find like my place in school and it helped me find my support system. And I've always felt welcome into the team. Vaughn's absolutely amazing. We would not be able to compete at this high level without their supports and uh, specifically Dr. Rahimi. Dr. Rahimi is like the dad we are making proud. <laughs> He's a really important asset for our team, uh, whether or not he knows it. When you can tell that we're a little disheartened because say we have a loss or we're not doing as well as we expect, he's always been there to uplift us and inspire us. I'm so proud of them. Their future is our future too, because they make an uh, impact in society. They are involved with STEM outreach activity. So that is why I think the future will be bright.